Hi friends, it's Mrs. Kazalka. I have a really fun story today to read to you called How the Crayons Saved the Unicorn. So if you've read the story How the Crayons Saved the Rainbow, this is written by the same author, same illustrator. So the author is Monica Sweeney and the illustrator is Feronia Parker Thomas. Some of these illustrations might look familiar to you if you've read that story before. So this is How the Crayons Saved the Unicorn. I know so many of you love unicorns. On the edge of the town, a lost little unicorn wandered in search of a friend. He imagined all the fun he could have with someone to play with, but in his search far and wide, he couldn't find anybody to be his friend. Oh no. Do you see anyone on this page that could be his friend? Is there someone else here? Let's see. Let's keep reading to see if he finds a friend. He splashed through a river, but the fish looked at him funny. He looked up high in the trees, but the birds, they wouldn't sing with him. He said hello to the butterflies in the garden, but they all fluttered away. Oh, poor unicorn. So we kept on his search. Clop, clop, clop. And he made up some games along the way. Roar, he'd howl. Help me, he'd cry. I'll save you, he'd chime back. But after a while, he still felt gloomy. Why wouldn't anyone be his friend? Ever so slowly, his purple hooves turned to gray. His sparkly stars lost their shimmer. His rainbow mane and rainbow tail faded inch by inch, lock by lock, until the rainbow was no more. Oh no, what happened? Why do you think he lost his colors, my friends? That's right, I think that maybe all of his sadness made his colors fade away. Remember in the movie Trolls? I'm not sure if you've seen that movie, but remember when Poppy was feeling sad and all the other trolls started feeling sad and then they lost all their colors? You remember that part of that movie? It kind of reminds me of that when we're looking at this unicorn. I hope that the unicorn gets his colors back just like in the movie in Trolls, like Poppy got her colors back. Oh no, bawled the unicorn. Where did all my colors go? Where are my sparkles? He sniffled, shuffled, shuddered, and sank. In a soft burst of grass was a little box of crayons. All of a sudden, the box began to move. The unicorn perked up. Some more crayons, my friends. Mm, I think the unicorn is interested. He sees some colors. Out jumped seven special crayons. Hey, who's that? Where are my clothes? The unicorn looked up brightly and said hello. I've been wandering for a while and I've lost all my colors. Maybe you can help me? What do you think, friends? Do you think the crayons can help out the unicorn? I think so. Let's keep reading and find out. Well, you look like fun. So magical. Let's go play. Stick with us. Colors are our specialty. What do you notice happening, friends? I see a little colors coming back right here. I see a little color coming back there. Hmm. What a great day. The new friends frolicked all over town, clap, clop, clop, and spread their rainbow colors. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Look at they're working together, the unicorn and all the crayons. Are you so happy that the crayon that the unicorn seems to have found some friends? The unicorn was as happy as can be. He trotted through a field and the crayons came with him. He pranced in a garden and the crayons pranced with him. He hummed his favorite tune and the crayons hummed too. They came across a great big puddle. They hopped around the puddle and they splished and they splashed. Cowabunga! Am I blue because of water or is the water blue because of me? Oh no, cried the unicorn, not again. What do you notice happening in the water? Does it look like the colors are washing away? Oh no. The unicorn looked down at his gray hooves in sadness. What kind of unicorn am I if I don't even have my own rainbow colors? Well, you're a 
cozy unicorn. You're the most fun unicorn. You are very sharp. You're the splashiest unicorn. You are so special. You're a pretty great unicorn. You're the friendliest unicorn. Were those all such nice things that all of his crayon friends said, said to him? I love when friends say such nice things to their friends. The crayons surrounded the unicorn in a great big hug and the unicorn felt more confident and happier than ever before. Can anyone have a prediction about what might happen because the unicorn is surrounded by so much love from his friends? I have an idea too, let's keep reading. Ever so slowly, his gray hooves turned back to purple. His sparkly star started to shimmer. His rainbow mane and rainbow tail came back inch by inch lock by lock, but this time the unicorn felt as happy as his very own rainbow. So look at that, my friends. What was it that eventually made all of his colors return? It was that he was happy, right? He was surrounded by so much love and all of his friends made him happy, so his colors returned. And that is the end of How the Crayon Saved the Unicorn. I hope you enjoyed that story. Thank you for coming to read with me today and I will see you all very soon. Have a great day. Love you so much. Bye.